snake. Yeah. Are you ready? I think have, I am. To have your childhood viciously torn away from you. Oh, man. This game is like... Well, I said before I'd start, I'd do some research on this game. <laughs> Find out what voice actors they replaced for this version. Yeah, yeah, it turns out Jaleel White. Curious. <laughs> and, well, I came to a stunning conclusion after hours of research. The this game is shit. kinda... well, shit. Yeah. Not kinda, I think that's a vast, 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 vast understatement. I mean, people like to think, you know, Sonic 5th, Sonic's 15th anniversary, you know, oh yeah, Sonic 06, we're a Sonic game, right? No! Oh boy. Wait, what? when did this come out? Was this a... This, 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 this was for the 15th anniversary as well, oh, yeah, people. like... God damn, so that year had Sonic 06, this, and Sonic Rivals. Uh... What a year. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, not the best, almost six, sweet sixteen. Anyway, no, I know this is bad for me because actually, out of the Genesis titles, Sonic One is actually my favorite, and that's is... that's not nostalgia goggles. I actually enjoy this one the most still. But here it is now, packaged yeah. for you on the portable platform, this playing is... at about a half a frame a second. Oh, this is wrong. For... Actually, um, <laughs> oh god. That screen, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the green hill zone is fading out of existence. Now, I don't think either of us have had the misfortune of actually owning a physical copy of this, but I'm, I can't speak for you on that one. <laughs> no, no, no. I... This is even worse because in this you fall directly down at all times. <laughs> God I, damn it. <laughs> I can't, um, we both, I played it as well before we recorded just to get... Again, it's a grips with it once again, and that is really difficult. Like, it's basically a giant, like, middle finger, giant fuck off, no. I'm not even, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna bother getting in 100%, like, playthrough No, this. no, that's absolutely fine. I mean, no matter what, no matter if you're playing this game, if you get all the emeralds, Sonic still doesn't win because he was in, you know, this game. So, really, you can't win no matter what you do. I mean, how do you- I mean, I know it's been discussed how, you know, how could Sega really fuck up this badly when all, like, the SNES ports were done so well, etc, etc. It's like, <laughs> why? It's, it, this is like, a sort of, like, you know, Dick Cheney, Guantanamo Bay freaking, you know, freak punishment levels. This is practically worse than waterboarding. <laughs> I- well, I say the victims of waterboarding might have a word with you about that, but I don't... In the Venn diagram of people who've been waterboarded and people who've <laughs> played Sonic Genesis, I wonder what the crossover rate is, but we got we should do some commentary com science. we got to gather some people up. <laughs> Out of everyone in the entire world who has experienced this. We haven't actually talked about why it's bad yet. I mean, I'm pretty sure they've heard the music and they've saw how weird the movement is, but... Um, how jerk. Okay, so, okay, you, if you're if you're watching this, you have no idea how bad it is. Like, I mean, I know you're probably going to try to gauge it and be like, yeah, this looks pretty shitty, like, you know, you wouldn't be wrong, but you seriously have no idea how actually terrible it is. Like, I, that's, I thought the exact same thing when I first saw it. I was like, yeah, this is just, this looks just looks bad. Then I tried and played it, and... Ha! <laughs> well, you see, things that are easily controllable and easy to do in the base game... They're now a twadge more difficult. Twadge. A twadge, <laughs> because you see, Sonic's movement is now really gimpy. Momentum especially. You could be traveling at a great speed, hit an object, and the moment you go over the rim from the jump, you'll pick all that speed up again. Yeah, really, it's it's like the... Well, there we go. It's like the, the, the collision detection is completely off. The game seems to, like, not calculate momentum at the same time as your movement, so... Like you'll, like Snake said, you know, you'll jump in the air, you'll randomly gather like a lot of speed. I assume the Game Boy is desperately trying to compensate <laughs> for. Uh, it's trying to compensate for its lack of blast processing that the Genesis <laughs> just had, but Nintendo don't. <laughs> Hold on, even <laughs> like ever. what, like 10, 15 years later, and this, <laughs> the Nintendo still don't. The, the GBA is a more powerful system than the um, Genesis, right? Uh, I think aside, aside from the sound chip, yeah, I mean, it's more powerful than the, than the, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Now, this music is wrong for me on two notes, because it's also, because it's also faster than our 50 hertz PAL soundtrack that we had. Yeah. And I'm not sure if, like, the GBA releases here actually had a slowed, a slowed, a slowed down. <laughs> slow. 
<laughs> it's okay, I don't blame you. The, the music in the background is probably completely like, just like melting your brain. By the way, that pause there was so that I could throw up a little bit. <laughs> Looks like uh, there's a bit of an earthquake going on in Green Hill Zone as well. <laughs> that, on this boss, you can actually jump high enough to get above him and just the whole boss fight. They, <laughs> like right hit. now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bit of a combo, high score there. You know, when I was like four or five, me and my dad played this game all the time. I was watching this him. game. This exactly. No, not this. Not this poor. <laughs> he wasn't a time traveler. Even though now you've given me the idea of like, if he ever feels like nostalgic and wants to play, he doesn't play games anymore. If he wants to play this, I'll give him this version. Wow, so, <laughs> you're a jerk. You're a horrible son. <laughs> He'll go, well, I don't remember it being like this. No, he once got to Labyrinth Zone, and that was as far as he could ever get. And he couldn't beat this boss. I wonder if he could beat it in this version. Uh, <laughs> uh, a bit of personal confession. I actually, when I first played this game, uh, I actually, this when I first got Mega Collection, it was like my first Sonic game. And I uh, played this and, you know, Sonic 2 and Sonic 3. Uh, I, this is the one I played the least because I could never get past Green Hill Zone's boss for some reason. Like, I don't know why, it just absolutely owned me all the time. Then I got to Marble Zone, and that would always own me after that. Like, now the game's obviously, you know, the next time that I can actually play video games. Mm. Um, I can actually, you know, beat the game, but yeah. like... Jesus Christ, God, memories. Sonic looked like he was glued to the <laughs> to the fucking <laughs> grass there. I, I am I am made of friction and spikes, and that's about I, it. I don't blame him, and with these physics, I, I would want to be pretty securely, you know, <laughs> taped to the ground. It's like, you feel like you have much less... Oh, okay, you feel like you have too much traction, wrong way of putting it. Like, you stop on a dime, it's kind of like... It's kind of it's like, well, Sonic 06 came out this year, so we better make this version feel a lot more like that. <laughs> do do that little crossover kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, we forgot to talk about it, sorry, I just wanted to mention this, but you do actually get to use the spin dash in this version, um, mm. you know, as like a bonus feature. Only and in you the do... new added anniversary mode, I think it's called. Yeah, and, and the anniversary mode also includes the ability to, you know, have a stage select. Which is kind of pointless, because you know, debug menu. Hmm. Which isn't in this version. Uh, actually, I believe, wasn't there, like, in Sonic Compilation, didn't, or, like, Sonic Jam, didn't you have the ability to use the spin dash in the first game? I cannot remember, I'd never had, um, I, that, was a, that was a Saturn collection, right, or was that... Yeah, like, Sonic Jam, yeah. Yeah, I never, ha I never had a Saturn. It oh, was, well. It wasn't until I've... <laughs> actually, I was about to say it wasn't until years later, but then I realized the only Saturn game I've played is Guardian Heroes. Mm -hmm. Which is a damn fine game, if I say so myself. Uh, but like, I think it, I think it was in one of those versions where you could actually incorporate the spin dash into the first game, making this version completely redundant outside of its portable aspect. So hmm. there goes that whole ooh anniversary edition. <laughs> Not to mention the screen is pulled in, so it feels more dangerous to bloody spin dash. Freaking, it's like Sonic Four Triple Alpha. There's um a hole in the wall to your left where you can get an extra life. And four ring boxes. I know this is not the time. <laughs> I, no, I was I mean, just trying to get out of here. No, that's fair enough. Like I'm, I when I played this game, I got through the first couple of levels, like playing slowly, getting lives, getting rings, and then I just kind of thought, well, I want to see the ending, and I just started breezing through it with no regard for my own safety, hitting bad nicks left, right, and center. Like, yeah, I may be getting seriously beaten up here, but at least it'll be over sooner. It's kind of like. You know, do you want to be waterboarded like we brought up earlier, or do you want to be punched in the stomach ten times by Mike Tyson in his prime? Ultimately, the Mike Tyson option is faster, and you get to meet a celebrity. And that's pretty get much. His autograph. Get Sonic's autograph as a special thing for beating this game. <laughs> it gets called into existence, and he just. He's very disappointed in you for playing this version. <laughs> he does that little finger waggle he does at the beginning. But rather than as a kind of a cheeky wink to the kids playing this game, it's more like, just just don't, okay? Cheeky pimp slap. <laughs> just, uh, just don't. Oh, seriously, okay, so like, one thing in comparison to Sonic 06, and like, in Sonic 06, yeah, it had terrible frame rate issues, but I would never say that the frame rate really impaired movement that much. The movement was pretty messed up on its own. But here, like... Not only is the movement totally awesome, but like just the, the the slowdown like completely. I know we've mentioned momentum already, yeah. but just completely like holy fuck! This it, it literally feels like it, everything is 
You, you like, I, I swear, when I was playing this, I was like, me, I was trying to actually press my right and my left arrow key harder to make Sonic speed up. <laughs> like, I was just like, please, do this for me. I knew it wouldn't do anything, but it was like, a, it was an act of desperation. Oh, God. Also, I mean, I'm not sure if you were seeing it here, but when, it's like, sometimes it goes into intense moments of slowdown, and then it speeds up as if to catch up with itself. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, that, that, that's the whole you know issue why the momentum is so much yeah. up. You know, the, it'll 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 just you know display what's going on, then it'll only actually calculate the momentum like later, so you'll randomly speed up or slow down. It's just hmm. awful. Also, awful. I made a point much earlier on, and then I wanted to go back to that point, and now I've forgotten it. Fuck. <laughs> so, well, snake. So I'm gonna bring up a different point, and that's remember how I said in how we complained in Green Hill about hitting stuff and then picking up momentum after you go off of it. Right. Remember that hallway before you went on the two swinging bits? That hallway looked absolutely hellish because, like, you were hitting objects left, right, and center. <laughs> I, I I did not try to do a no hit run of this game because no, just no, just just no. I yeah. Not, I was so mad that there. there was nothing here. I would have to go all the way back across that lava river. I'm judging you based on how many um how many hidden things in the wall you've missed. Except not really, because I know at the same time you're doing it for all the right reasons. Just want to get out of here, Snake. I don't have time for this. If you want, I don't out want here. the secret. I don't want the secret ending. <laughs> Actually, that it's just Eggman looking sad. And yeah, yeah. That, that frown. That it, it's you making him sad. And really, in that ending, nobody wins because in the original, you know, in the ending where he has the emeralds, he's still chuffed, and you know, he's only got six of them. And Sonic's happy because he managed to beat the shit out of a fat guy because that's probably what he likes to do. He's a bit of a cunt. Well, and it... Sonic's a bit fat himself in this version, so... Yeah, what, uh... He's just taking out on Eggman because of imperfections he sees in himself. The game is a very... <laughs> the game's actually quite, um... It goes quite deep in that regard. The subtext was lost in later games. Regained in this one by Sonic being quite slow. Oh god. Well, Eggman's always been faster than Sonic. I'm pretty sure this is like canonical, like it's common knowledge. Okay. Basically, this game is an artistic statement. Not tight. Not quite certain about what exactly, but you have to think about it. Mm. Jesus, this instrumentation! Like, come on, this this sports like a, they, they, they might not have sounded as great as the original mm. SNES like tunes, but like at least they did SNES. SNES, SNES, Super Nintendo, fucking that thing I played on that got all shitty brown color over time. Right. Oh man, you're getting all those bonus. Oh, you didn't keep to, you didn't keep up the combo. I know. I'm sorry. I totally messed <laughs> this up. This is not. Oh, I know you Just said this isn't a 100% hurry, hurry. run, but I thought this was a hundred percent break run. Oh. As in the game is one hundred percent. Is that like a, is that like a special thing like on speedrunners.net or whatever? Just yes. hundred percent Sonic one break run. Yes, you break everything. And it, you, it's only possible on this game, because like I said, it's broken. So, the job's already done, really. Fuck Lava. Lava. Oh, have time that. Lava is solid. Ish. Very vicious. This coolest. I've always wondered about this... I mean, like, is it must be really hard for Sonic to see where he's going when he has this up. What, what, what up? The shit, the, uh, invincibility. I, I don't... Hmm. I never suspected that he actually like saw. I thought that it was just like a representation, like a metaphorical sort of thing. Like I didn't suspect he actually started sparking. But okay. Yeah. Well, actually, it's him seeing stars from smashing his fucking head into a TV. <laughs> <laughs> just a little harder than usual. <laughs> I'm actually. I actually. I actually really want to know. Is like Sonic blind in one eye or something? Why can't he see like ten feet in front of him? Well, he's only got one eye. So if he was blind in one eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good point. <laughs> this is all just sonar. <laughs> like you can't hear it because of the um, because well the sound's been fucked. You couldn't hear it on the original Genesis either because it was too primitive. But Sonic is like constantly going like just to bounce the sound off the walls, <laughs> and that's why Sonic handles so badly in 3D because you've got more bouncing. Because Sonic actually has sight in the movie, and, and that's why that's when Sonic 06 is trying to establish this. That's why he's always talking to himself. He's just trying to have excuses. He's become more clever with his uh, sensory Sen senses, sensor whatever the word that follows <laughs> sensory is. Yeah, his um, his fuck, I don't know either, man. So so Sonic's just kind of slow, but not really. 
I'm kind of going someplace with sentences in English, but nowhere really that quickly. Anyway, when the fuck did they introduce what sounds like digitized flutes into this song? <laughs> I know, like, how do you even- this isn't even the correct instrumentation, like- Yeah, if I know you like... complain about that, but why does it sound like flutes? <laughs> because know? it probably is flutes! <laughs> you couldn't even land in the right area. I actually kind of oh. like this level, but with this pulled-in fucking screen thing and the sound sounding like this, it's really bad. Spring yard zone being done a cappella and then rendered in MIDI. <laughs> Maybe we can get some oh, cars oh, in oh, here and be like New Super Mario Bros. Oh god. Any, I, I, I honestly just out of like morbid curiosity, I kind of want to take the um, sound font they use for this game and apply it to other games. Hmm. Uh, just... Hmm. Actually, that, you should apply that to the S3 and K in Sonic 2, and I went backwards there. It's okay. Oh man, it, it's like, in the original, this bit doesn't feel so slow. Really, the, the, those, those parts, you know, like when the lava shoots you up and you're on the block and you gotta jump off? Well, Never those are exceptionally way. difficult in this version because the momentum from the block, you don't feel it at all. Like, I mean, you know, momentum, 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 but it really is like one of the central things in Sonic. Hmm. And, you know, having it so bad, so of course I'm gonna mention it though. But, like, just the fact that you can't gauge the momentum of the block makes, you know, platforming off of it really insanely difficult. That's why I missed the cliff um, the hmm. first time in the last act, but. I'm actually really happy <laughs> that you know about this secret in the wall. Wait, what? No! There's a hill <laughs> no. to the right! That's a shortcut! That makes it <laughs> I over didn't know. faster! I didn't know that there was a thing there. I thought there was something else there. No, <laughs> up it was in that right a... corner, there's a shortcut with an extra life. Oh, actually, I'm kind of glad, because I haven't seen this route in years. <laughs> it's a bit slower than I remember it! <laughs> it's a strange way to freaking nostalgia, like, reminisce. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of like nostalgia through a filter. And that filter so rose -tinted is glassed, and that... glasses with massive piles of shit on them. Yeah. I was gonna be um, a bit classier and not mention shit. I was gonna say, you know, rubbed against every wall you've seen on the way here, scratched to hell, but shit does it pretty well. It's just said feces, human excrement. Manure. Do you really want to be classy? Classy? No. No, no. 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 Classy. No. It's too many not not with people this game, on the Snake. internet trying to be classy. The not bricks, not being down to earth. All these ten dollar words, Snake. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't you mean fifteen pound words? <gasps> Shut up! Doing rate of conversion here. Freaking. Uh, what the. No, I'm not okay with this. This is only with the real American currency. Oh, you're coming up on a bitchy section. <laughs> Jumps that in normal game are, you know, nice, simple, doable. Sonic handles pretty damn well in this. They're kind of terrifying. It's really like every jump is like just a leap of faith, even because you don't know exactly where you're going to land. Mm -hmm. you, you think you're just gonna jump from like you know point A to point B. There's not even a gap in the middle. You take that jump, and then all of a sudden you're in outer space. <laughs> I saw those two flickies earlier on trying to jump into the lava. That's not their AI. They're, they've actually developed sentience <laughs> and are finding a way out. <laughs> oh man. It also, just goes on. It, the stage just keeps going this, on, and the music just keeps looping. <laughs> this game represents insanity. Also, that spike, you would have come out under it if you took that shortcut. you got a time, you jumped there. Also, yeah, you said earlier on about momentum. When you get hit, it just feels like the game arbitrarily picks which direction you're being flung. <laughs> Every enemy you hit sends you upwards. As well. We're gonna send you upwards and then downwards, through the floor, to China. <laughs> Hit the top of the level, come out in the bottom zone. In the bottom zone? That's like Sonic's world minus one. Yes. And it's just Sonic underwater, kinda like Mario, but Sonic can't breathe forever. <laughs> I was so hor- you don't even know how horrified I was here. Yeah. Just zero rings, and then- Oh, you poor <laughs> bastard. Still, oh. still... Oh man, this boss is pretty simple though. But now you've got an elaborate zone. No, sorry, sorry, spring yard zone. Spring yard. <laughs> you, you know you know those like you know those like you know really kiddie keyboards that like children play with and just sort of mash and you know get covered in Kellogg's yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Uh that are like multi This is basically that I assume that they took the sound front from that to like compose uh, all the different tunes. Either that or a speaking spell. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Well, this is gonna be fun. Musical sodomy. We're not even halfway through the game yet, man. Nope. My net, my favorite level tune is coming up next. I wonder if it's still top notch. 